Okay, put him in his stall. Don't worry about him. He'll never race again. What'll they do with him? Uh, the owner will sell him at the auctions. Got too many horses to worry about this one. No one wants a broken down gelding. End up in a can. It's dogs me. I got your message. I'm not at all happy about taking this new filly on, Bill. Now listen, Mac, Diamond Queen is a great mare. She might be a bit cranky, but she won the Melbourne Cup. And I reckon she can produce one just as good as herself. Now, either you train a daughter, or you don't train any of my horses. Simple as that. I mean it, Mac. Now, you know the chances of Diamond Queen producing one as good as herself is a million to one. I tell you, Bill, that Diamond Breed just no good at all. Now, listen, Mac, it's my horses and my money keeping you in business. You give that filly a try. If she's no good, I put her in the sales ring. But give her a try first. Get a transport and I'll give her a character reference. Charlie, calm those colts down. Look, Bill, this darn lunatic will have every horse in the stable going berserk. Well, it's your job to calm her down and get her ready for racing. That's what I'm paying you for. But why this nuisance? Buy yourself a decent horse. Give yourself a chance. I mean, it costs as much to feed a champion as it does to feed a rat bag like this. Well, I know Diamond can produce a good one. And this just might be it. Let's even get it in the store. Uh, well, don't you worry. You'll see. Excuse me? Yes, girlie? What's her name? I've called her Blue Fire Lady. I tell you, she's mad, boss. She just hates people. Well, you know, you sort of throw me at the track. Yeah, just like a mother and the rest of the darn breed. You've only got one chance with that filly. She's a one-man horse, just like her mother. Oh, this is 1977, Gus. If a horse can't be part of a team, it's no good to me. Training's a business. I'm a horse trained, not a head doctor for scatty horses. Look, Peters is expecting results. A Charlie's scared of her, and the filly knows it. Why don't you leave it to that new girl to look after? It's your only chance of getting at a race. Look, the yearling sales are coming up soon. You're expecting Peters to dig into his pocket and buy you a couple of good colts? But he won't. Unless you make some attempt with a filly. Charlie, give that darn filly to the new girl. Yes, boss. With pleasure. Haven't you got rid of this darn useless dog yet? I didn't know. Well, you know now. Get rid of it. It's a racing stable, not a dog's refuge home. Yes, boss. Come on, you dirty old flea. Hey, come on. Move. Get out now, move. Hey, 
I'll just be a minute. 